Astronauts will be able to exchange experiment payloads from the pressurized module using a special robotic arm, the Kibo manipulator. Japan is relying on NASA to deliver the Kibo module to the space station. The H-2A simply doesn't have the lifting power for anything this size or weight. To launch their own manned mission into space, Japan will need a rocket even more powerful than the H-2A. Known as the H-2B, it's already under development. In terms of the size of a rocket, H-2B will be able to compare with any other rockets in the world. To send a man into space has been the big dream of this country for a very long time. It will be very significant to achieve it also from an engineer's point of view. But right now, there's only one thing on the minds of the engineers and aerospace workers gathered at Tanegashima Space Center achieving success with H-2A Flight 9. Before the vehicle is moved onto the launch pad, a Shinto priest blesses the rocket to help assure it has an untroubled journey into space. The H-2A is finally ready to be moved from the vehicle assembly building. The press look on as the world's largest garage door opens. Two massive mobile launch vehicles slowly haul their 300-ton cargo towards the launch pad. Each vehicle is capable of lifting and transporting 650 tons. Together, they can carry twice that weight. So these mega transporters shouldn't experience any difficulty. Custom built for this job, each mighty machine has 14 axles. 56 wheels, and is computer controlled for the duration of this vital journey. At two kilometers an hour, Flight 9 takes 25 minutes to reach the launch pad. Everyone is on tenterhooks. Can the H-2A fulfill Japan's dream to be a commercial satellite launcher? After six years and billions of dollars of investment, the H-2A rocket is ready for the ultimate test. Can Japanese technical know-how overcome the immense engineering obstacles and produce a unique man-made marvel? Flight 8 has successfully launched its satellite, but can they do it again? Flight 9 is about to launch the heaviest payload Japan has ever tried to blast into orbit. Coming just three weeks after the last H-2A launch at Tanegashima, this mission is a critical test for Japanese rocket engineering. Like all his colleagues, JAXA engineer Taiki Matsumura is keen to prove this new launch vehicle and the Japanese space industry are up to the task. No matter how nervous you get, it doesn't lead to success. So there's no point to be nervous. I'm nervous in a good way and also relaxed, so I feel very positive. As the clock counts down towards launch, the Japanese media prepare their cameras. H-2A Flight 9 is standing by on the launch pad, fueled and ready for liftoff. In just five minutes' time, the new H-2A rocket will face the biggest test yet of its capabilities. Terminal countdown has begun. The automatic countdown starts from 270 seconds prior to the launch. From here, everything is automatically controlled by computers. With 30 seconds to go, power is switched from an external source to the rocket's internal system. H-2A Flight 9 is set for liftoff.
As the H2A blasts towards its destination, the media waits for updates on its progress. SSB, nice pair, initial studio. SSB, first pair, run out. SSB. The H2A's solid and strap-on boosters separate from the launch vehicle without any problem. Three minutes and 53 seconds into the flight, the fairing also jettisons right on schedule. It will be a further three minutes before confirmation of the first and second stage separation arrives via JAXA's Masuda tracking station. First and second stage is separation. 28 minutes after H2A Flight 9 lifted from the launch pad, the news everybody has been waiting for finally arrives. MT-SAT-2 MT separation. MT-SAT-2, the heaviest payload ever launched by Japan, has been successfully injected into orbit. The new H-2A rocket has now passed the most significant test in its nine-flight history. For JAXA, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and all those involved in getting this man-made marvel off the drawing board and into space, it's a triumphant moment. Japan has now confirmed its position amongst the leading spacefaring nations of the 21st century. We launched number nine rockets successfully. I'm delighted, but the strongest feeling I have is relief that we didn't disappoint people's expectations, that we met their trust. To be honest, I'm very relieved. <laughs> I've not slept much for days, so I am already half asleep. Japan has now confirmed its position amongst the leading spacefaring nations of the 21st century. It's earned its place in the big league alongside Boeing and Ariane Space. Its commercial future looks bright. Of course, Ariane is uh, more uh, established on the commercial market, but in the future I am sure that the uh, H2A will be successful on the commercial market and the fact that uh, we are going together uh, is uh, very helpful for both of us. MT-SAT-2 is Japan's 98th satellite and the world's 6,381st, but it won't be the last. Now that the H2A has proved itself beyond doubt, this man-made marvel will be launching many more.